first up, I want to talk about something that you may remember. Just last month, the mayor of Seattle shocked many of us who live in the Pacific Northwest when he proposed pulling the plug on Seattle's TV, the Seattle's channel, citing budget concerns. This, of course, would eliminate all its news and produce programs. In addition to many great programs, those cuts would include Art Zone with Nancy Guppy. Nancy, of course, is a frequent guest of New Day, and in addition to sharing her extensive entertainment knowledge, recommending terrific art-focused excursions, she's also the 2023 Golden Hammer winner of the New Day Northwest Gingerbread House Build. Come on, we're laughing so we don't cry, people. There's still many, many unknowns, but all hope is not lost. No. And Nancy joins me now for your regularly scheduled entertainment segment, but we do need to talk about that news Absolutely. first. Absolutely. It's great to see you. So you good beautiful. to see you. Yeah. So do you. I'm loving your patterns. Kind of we talked kooky, about that. Patterns. No, it's yeah. amazing. Thank you. So what is the update on this news? Well, the update is, is that there's been a huge response from uh, the community, um, the arts community, and actually beyond that a bit. Um, there's a really great um, uh, op-ed in the Seattle Times today from Shio Ishikawa, who was a curator at Seattle Art Museum for many, many years. Um, the city council has said a lot of positive things. Sarah Nelson, the, the council president, has said, it hasn't said like we're going to save it, but like we want to find a way to keep the Seattle Channel going, and that's really positive news. So, as, as you know, as disturbing and you know, ah, scary as this is, I feel uh, so much uh, support is so gratifying, and so hopefully that will that will adjust. It will adjust what the mayor has proposed so that we can keep moving forward and do what we do, which I think is a very important, um, you know, service to the community and to the artistic community, big time. Yeah. Big time for sure. And speaking of support, I love this so much. And I don't think I've seen a better quote than this one from the Seattle Times art writer, Jim Dimitri. He said, firing Nancy Guppy is like firing Big Bird. <laughs> what is the support, you know, from the community? Um, what does it all mean to you hearing stuff it's, like that? It's extremely gratifying. First of all, that is the best quote I could ever hear. I mean, Big ever. Bird is beloved <laughs> and dopey. I don't know how beloved I am, but I you am are dopey. Beloved. I am no, dopey you are for very, sure. Very beloved. So so it, it feels really great. Um, I always knew that people cared about what we did, but to have it come out so strongly like that is, is it just feels really, really good. And, and it kind of gives me a little, you know, kind of a, a that, spring oops. of my step. And I also wanted to say one thing, that, that King TV, New Day in particular, bringing me on, on a, as a regular to talk about the art scene, no other commercial station does that. Wow. So I just also want to give a big shout out to King Aww. for doing that, because it really, it, seriously, this is, a, this is a big reach. This, this station has a big reach, so yay for that. So let's, let's keep us going on the Seattle Channel and keep, keep me going here on New Day. I mean, always. <laughs> yeah. We love having you, oh, thank you so, so much. And of course, we want to talk about all of the exciting topics that yeah. you have today. And you have the coolest entertainment ideas, and you brought four for us yes. today. Yes. Yes. So the first one, Skate of the Art. Mm -hmm. in Tacoma. Yeah, so in Tacoma, of course, it's such a great city, so many great neighborhoods, yes. including the downtown core, like what we just saw there. It was Tacoma Art Museum and the Museum of Glass. So this show is at the Method Skateboards and Coffee. It's a shop down in, in Tacoma. They opened in 2022. This is their first art exhibit, opened a couple of weeks ago. It's 25 local artists using spray paint, oil, textile to decorate, obviously, skateboards in a one-of-a-kind uh, way. So in addition to the skateboard art, what I really like is their local hyper-focus. They have Bluebeard Coffee. That's yeah. a local company in Tacoma. They have two clothing lines that they design in-house called wow. Weathermaker and Northwest Dirt Bag. I mean, that's a great, uh, that's a great <laughs> line. And best of all, this place, it shines a light on the vibrant and creative uh, skateboarding community. Yes. And I think that that's really important. To me, it's this, the method, this store, this business, it's like a really hipster um, a clubhouse where everyone is invited. So go there for coffee, for yes. buy, some, buy some clothes, look at the fantastic art. It's just a really great thing for the community. So I, I love it. And Skate of the Art is up through October 21st. Yeah. That is so yeah. amazing. That yeah. looks like fun. I'm yeah. going to have to check that you out. Check it out. And number two, Uncle Bully's Surf School. Yes. Tell me about this. Yeah. So Leah Warshawski and Todd Soliday are the filmmaking team behind a documentary it came out in 2017 called Big Sonia, and it was excellent. It was about Leah's grandmother who survived the Holocaust. It's a beautiful film. Wow. So Todd and Leah have a brand new documentary. It's called Uncle Bully's Surf School, and it's about a local Maui surf instructor named Bull Cotter, i.e. Uncle Bully. So. Okay, and we're going to see a clip now, right? Yeah. 
Look at that weight right there, bro. Spin. Spin on it. I'm coming with you. Come on, just paddle. Stand up and surf. Nice one. It's just, oh, I just find that so moving. So Uncle oh Bully gosh. is a very big hearted guy, kind of a gruff guy, big hearted guy. When the pandemic hit in, in 2020, he began mentoring local kids living in encampments and, um, really? and also giving them uh, free surf lessons. So Lee and Todd got wind of this. They live on Maui. They started uh, filming. They finished, wrapped the film in 2023. They were ready to hit the festival circuit when the story took an unexpected turn, which is that Bully and the kids were living in Lahaina, which of oh, course was burned down wow. in that fire later that, that year, yeah. August. Uh, Bully's house, his business, no. a lot of the encampments were wiped out. And so Leah and Todd knew we gotta pick up our camera again because this story isn't over. So they did and they captured kind of the post-fire um, world and life of, of Uncle Bully and the kids. That is now how the film ends. And I'm telling you, it is oh my such goodness. a picture of resilience. It's beautiful filmmaking, an incredibly wonderful story. And they're having their Seattle premiere here on Tuesday, October 22nd at SIF Cinema Uptown, which is on Lower Queen Anne. And Leah and Todd will be there for a little Q&A. amazing. So I think this is absolutely That's a, a must, must watch. Must see, much see, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. the cinematography on that was absolutely it's, stunning. It's beautiful, right. Yes. So you put that with a great story, it's a winner, right? It's oh a Oh my winner. gosh. Yeah. Okay, that's on my list. Okay. And Art X Contemporary Gallery, Gallery. Gallery is next. Yeah, so this is in Pioneer Square. There's a terrific exhibit. It's, it's by Valencio Lazo, and it's called Tejiendo Historias, Weaving Stories. I have to work on my pronunciation there. Yeah, me so too. So <laughs> Valencio, he celebrates, there he is right there. He celebrates the um, uh, textile traditions of the Zapotec people in Oaxaca that he learned about as a Stunning. child uh, from his mother. The work is beautiful. So um, according to kind of the, the, what's behind the, the paintings and the sculpture, ancestral weaving is a cornerstone of Zapotec culture and has been passed down for, I don't know, a couple thousand years as a way to preserve uh, the stories uh, of the culture through, through uh, textiles. So Lazo, he pays um, homage to this heritage in, in his work by incorporating symbols of, of sewing and weaving, such as spools of thread and spinning wheels, and then he intertwines uh, that with the faces of children who carry this, these traditions forward. So um, he's, it's obviously steeped very deeply in his entire life and his entire culture. It's a beautiful show, big, big paintings, and it runs through November 16th. Okay, yeah. a little more time with that yeah, for that, us that, that to go. A little time to breathe there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. And last on your list today, it's at the Pacific Northwest Ballet. What's yes, happening there? Yes, yes. So they are doing their all Balanchine uh, program. And it's a program of dance by the great 20th century um, uh, choreographer, uh, ballet choreographer, uh, George Balanchine. Wow. So there he is right there. Um, the three dances in this performance, they highlight Balanchine's amazing, amazing range of creativity, and they underscore how music, and in this particular case, it's Vivaldi, uh, Corelli, Prokofiev, and Stravinsky, how these composers influenced Balanchine's choreography. So what I think is interesting, it's like the shapes of the music, how mm -hmm. that inspired Balanchine to create certain shapes of movement and kind of what comes first exactly. Um, so PM, PMB's dance core is really good, and I want to give a shout out to their principal dancer, Lucian Postelweight, total fox, <laughs> um, who is a great dancer. He'll be one of three dancers performing the um, title role of Prodigal Son. Wow. He's really fun to watch. So all Balanchine, we have some time on this to get your tickets. It runs on uh, November 1st through the 10th. So, oh, good. Yeah, okay, yeah. right so before the holiday season, yes, exactly. too, to get Move, dressed up and exactly, and, the and getting ready to go into the Nutcracker, right? of course. which I'm sure is right after that. Everyone's favorite. Yes, yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, Nancy. Uh, As always, thank such you. a pleasure to sit next to you and hear uh, all about this. Well, I'm, al I'm always so happy to be here. Thank you, <laughs> Kelly. Thank you. And we're going to have all those links to all of these events on our website, and you can find Art Zone on Seattle Channel 21 as well as streaming.